And we are back again with the CM10 students. We are looking at how to do levels. No, cropping. Levels is next, cropping. So we're doing cropping. I have a folder here, talks about my CM10. And here I have a folder, last name, first name, the lab name. I'm going to open that up because we did some work in there yesterday. And we go here, and you can first of all see I've put my lab in here that I downloaded yesterday. What we're supposed to do, crop an image, 6 by 4, uh, 600 DPI, name an original, name to fix one. And we're practicing right now, and you're going to go pretty soon and take four images to use. Well, that's, we'll get to that later. Right now we're looking at the how to do. Okay. I have some images that I've downloaded that we started with. I have the original one that I started working on as a JPEG. And I'll wait for Photoshop to open up. You can't see it. It's on my other screen. And okay, so that's what I started with. That's my original. Okay. And this is the one I started working in Photoshop yesterday. This is where how far we got to. We got to here. Oops, it's coming, 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 coming. It's going to open up right here. Okay, I'll close this one off. So I got as far as putting the name of the object in. Okay, so this is my original. I want to take my original, and now I want to resize it. Okay. So, got my, here I am, got my name, I want to resize this one, so we went to, I think it was image, <coughs> adjustments, no, tone, oh, image size, I'm going to click on that, and there you got my big mouth, just my mouth, right, because it's sort of centered on the second. Right now it wants to print a Photograph that is 72 inches wide. So that is six feet tall. Okay? So I'm not six feet. So that 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 tall. So it's way too big. And it wants to print it 48 inches high, which is four feet. Okay? So that's that's a really big image. You want these two locks. See how they're locked together? You get that by making sure resample is checked. If you don't have resample checked, here's what you're going to see. All three of them are locked. You do not want all three locked. Okay? Just width and height locked. Okay? So I'm going to hit resample. Everybody's got that? Okay? So now. I want to come to an image that is as close to 6 by 4 as possible without going over. Okay? So I want 6 inches by 4 or less, or I want 4 inches by 6 or less. You will not be perfect all the time. Okay? So as close as you can to one of the numbers being 6 or 4 and the other number not going over. So I'm going to click on the width of 72, and I'm going to change that to 6. And then tab. Ooh, this one worked out perfect. When I went to six inches, I got four exactly. So six by four. Now, okay, what do I have to do next? Six by four, I gotta set the DPI. What does the marking matrix ask us for a DPI? How many? Okay, let's go and look at it. Okay, that's healing brush. I don't have it here. Three hundred, no six hundred. It's got to be six hundred DPI. So I change this to six hundred. Okay, so six by four by six hundred. And I go, okay. OK. 
Okay, so now it's a six by four by 600. It doesn't really look all that different on the screen. It's just gonna look different when we go to print. So now I'm gonna save this, because this is my original that I started working at. So when we do cropping, we look at the first one, and then we look at the cropped one when you print them out, and we go, yes, you've cropped it. So now I'm gonna go save. I'm gonna save it as a PSD. Okay, so it's a Photoshop file. And we do like to save everything as a Photoshop file, but Photoshop files won't print. Okay, our printer does not like Photoshop files. So now we have to save it as a JPEG or a TIFF. For us today, we're going to save this as a JPEG. So now I'm going to go oh, trip on my chair and go File, Save As. Okay, I'm going to go down to here and I'm going to choose JPEG. Not JPEG 2000, not JPEG Stereo, just JPEG. And go, OK, and go save. It says it already exists. Do I want to replace it? Yes. I get this little option here. Might as well save it as size 12, quality maximum is large. It'll go and go. OK. So I've now saved my original. I've resized my original. I've got it as a new resolution. I've got my title on it. We're done with the original. Now we want to look at the fixed one. 600 DPI. Oh, and when you save it as a JPEG? 12. So I'm going to close this one off because I'm done with my first original. And I can go file open. Hopefully I'm still looking at the same directory. Yes, I am. Here's the one I've already made a copy of, and it's going to be the finished one. So you see it's already a JPEG file. I'm going to go open. Okay. So this is, if you look up here, it's hard to see. It says FN1. Ooh. Who's this? Who's asking me? What kind of file are you trying to open? What? Where'd you get a JPS? Yeah, I So now I want to open up the one I'm going to crop. Before I do anything, before I put any name in or uh, change my resolutions or anything like that, when we crop something, we're cropping the most interesting part of the picture. We're getting rid of the stuff that we don't want or need, or taking attention away from the picture. Now, obviously, I would say this is the most important part because it's me, but I'm being silly. It's not the window, it's not the monitor, it's not the picture, right? It's this. Maybe it is the picture you want to zoom in on. Maybe you're doing uh, um, spy stuff for the government. You want to go in and zoom in on something. But for this, we're going to say the most important or most interesting part is me being silly or scared. I don't know. So, we're going to crop, we're going to resize, then we're going to put the name in, then we're going to save it. Okay, as a PSD, and then save it as a JPEG. How do I crop? Okay, the crop tool is that one right there. Okay, it looks like a little square. If I click on it, I get an outline around my picture. Okay? And now I just grab the bars and pull them in. Okay?
Selection right now. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Back, Mr. I assume so. I don't think they. Okay. Good. How do you guys make out over there? I didn't check. Sorry, Blair, you're going to have to wait until Monday. Okay, good, 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 good. So everybody's cropped the most important part of this picture. Me. Okay. So now, if I know what I'm doing, I think I just go enter. Okay? So there is me. Okay. So now let's put our title on. Okay, if you remember from yesterday, the title is, we go to the T, we click. I got 72 points still. That looks good. My font looks okay. I'm going to click down here and I'm going to go Lendrum. Wilfred Lab 00 and then F F X1 for fix one. Okay? Yes? Does anybody need more time here? Because this is going to be available for you. Okay. So we've taken the original picture. We've made it a fixed picture. We have cropped it. We put our name on. What have we not done? There's one more thing we have to do. Save it. No. Sorry about that. So two things we have to do. For saving, we need to. Forget saving. Nothing to do with saving. We have cropped it. We have wrote on it. We need to check the size. Resolution. Okay? So image. Oh. Okay, I go to image here. Look at it. Look at this. I go to image. And I can't get into. Whoops. Image. I can't get into image size. Why? Yeah. Because you're still using one of the tools? Right. I'm still on the text tool here. See? So I'm going to go down to the background. Now I'm going to try image. Image size. Aha! Okay. It is 17.5 minus. Yours will be different. So I got to make it as close to 6 by 4 as I can without the other number being over. So one number must be six or the other number must be four. But they can't go over. So this is kind of a little confusing, but let me try. Let's take the width, which is the small number now, and make it four. Okay? 
Now, my picture, yours will be different because your cropping won't be the same. 4 by 5.8. Well, that's not 6, okay? Let's put this number to 6, see where this one goes. So I do the height 6. That punches my 4 over, right? 4.086. So I want to make sure that I don't go over on any number, but I get as big as I can. So I can't use 6 in my picture for the height. I've got to use 4 and 5 point something. So back to putting that at 4. 4 4.5873. So how are you doing your facade? Great, 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 Okay. So now, I've cropped my original image. I've saved it as a fixed image. I have my title on it. I've resized it. I've set the DPI. Now I'm going to save it as a PSD. So file, save as. Okay, Lendrum Wilford Lab 00 demo. <coughs> fixed one or fixed one, FX one. Save it as a PSD and go save. I get this, maximum capacity, capability, yes. Okay. Okay. Now, I've saved it as a PSD, which is my working document. I need to save it as a print document. What do I save it as a print document? Save as. I'm going to go here. I'm going to choose what? JPEG. I click, save, overwrite, yes. Quality 12. Okay. Let's look at my folder and see what I've got in my folder now. Because my folder should be ready to hand in. I'm going to blow this up. OK. So let's look what I've got here. Now, this lab is going to require you to do four pictures. We'll probably be doing that on Monday. But I got an original one in a PSD file. I have a fixed one in a PSD file. I have an original one in JPEG format. I have a fixed one in JPEG format. And I still have my sheet, my marking sheet, in this folder. So once I have all my stuff done, so I've got my four pictures done, I've got my four originals, I've got my four fixed, i got four PSDs, right, everything, everything is done. I've got all my stuff. I can go to my lab here, okay, and I'm going to go down here, da, 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 da. I've done all these things, I've checked them off, okay. Don't do this today. This is just what I'm going to show you what you do on these marking matrices. Okay? So I'm going to go here and I'm going to go student name. Landrum Wilfred. The due date. Um, did I put a due date on this? I don't know. Yes, 2-2. Two, two. So, 02 slash 02 slash 2019. Okay, the date marked. That's whatever day you come up for marking. I'm going to go 02, 02, 2019. I don't know, I'm just hypothetical. Now, first question is the student has completed the marking matrix. Okay, correctly. 
That means you've gone through this form, you've reviewed it, everything's good to go. So put a mark over here if you've completed the form. Okay. Whatever you want. You can do a check mark, you can do a Y, whatever. Okay. The student has handed in a folder, last name, first name, lab name. Okay. Here's my folder, last name, last name, first name, lab name. I'm going to hand that in. So I click, opposite mouse key, copy. Then I go to data, 10 to 12 in, blend them in, da 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 da. Okay. Spring 2019 in, I double click, CM10. Okay, I got a CM10 period two and a daily printing. Not the daily printing, I go CM10 period two, lab zero zero, and I paste my folder in there. You're not pasting your folder today because you haven't got your four photographs, but I'm assuming that I've done everything and I'm ready to go. Okay, so now I've put my folder in. So I can go back to my Don't want that one. I got so many things open. Uh oh. Okay. Come on. What happened here? Great. I've lost my. Something has happened and I've lost my um, product. But that's okay, not to fear, because I have, okay, right here. Okay, so now I've handed it into the folder. Yes, I've done that. The folder contains the original images and the final image. Yes, it did. I made sure all images had the correct name. Last name, first name, lab name, image name. I put the name on each image. Yes, I did. Okay. Student has ordered four images to be printed. Okay, you're going to have the JPEGs printed. So I haven't done that yet, so I'm going to do that right now. Actually, that should be eight images, shouldn't it? Okay, so I come to here. This PC, that's not the one I want, that's the server. Okay, so I got to get my images printed. So I want that one, and I'm going to hold down my control key, and I'm going to choose that one. Hold down the control key, I can choose the images I want. These are the JPEGs I want printed. I go opposite mouse key, I go copy. Where do we put the images to be printed? We put them in data, 10 to 12 in, lend them in. Okay, spring 2019 in, we go to CM10 daily printing. We double click and we paste them. And they'll be out the next day. Okay, so now I can go back to my matrix. Okay, so I've had my images in. Yes. Okay. Now, the quality of the crop, the quality of the resize, and the quality of the crop resize print, you can't do anything with that. That's my doing. Okay. So we've done so far what we can do. Next, you have a question. Okay. Every lab has a series of questions in it. In the space below, in complete thoughts. What I mean by complete thoughts is that the answer will stand on its own without the question. What was the objectives of this lab? Why are we doing this lab? So when we talk about complete thoughts, we go the objectives of this lab are what are the what are the objectives? L E A R learn and practice.
how to crop an image, how to add text to an image, how to hand in a folder to be marked, and how to hand in images to be printed. Okay? There's more to what we learned than that, but what I'm getting at here is I want to make sure that you include this. Right? So if I were to read this, right, I know what the question says. If I say to you, the objectives of this lab are to learn and practice how to crop an image, how to add text to an image, and how to hand into a folder to be marked, and how to hand images to be printed. That statement stands in its own. If you said, just simply said, to crop an image, right? That, that, that doesn't stand on its own, okay? To birth a dog, okay? Right? There's a cognitive look, right? To run real fast, well, why are you running, okay? What? <laughs> So, that's why you have to make a complete thought. Same with the next one. Okay. The skills I learned in this project were. Okay. What skills did you learn? I learned. How to crop an image. How to add text to an image. How to hand in my completed project folder. How to order prints of my work okay there's other things that could go in there too okay so these two should be somewhat related okay now some people are going to be lazy and say I didn't learn any new skills if you're doing these labs and you're not learning any new skills then maybe you need to be in a different class because every lab, you should learn something new. It may not be direct, it may be indirect. Okay? Any questions, comments, or concerns at this point? Everybody's good? Okay. We're going to now, I'm now going to stop this.